Hello everyone! We arrive late at night in our Selectum Resort in Veradero, Cuba. Checked into our room and had a good night's sleep to enjoy the rest of the day. And just a reminder, if you guys enjoy my video and find it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video. So let's talk about some of the a la carte restaurants in the resort. And if you want a change from buffet food, the a la carte restaurant is a good option for you. Therefore, when you check in, make sure you book your a la carte restaurant or the very next day because bookings go real fast. And we're able to book three a la carte restaurants for the week. Food buffet. At the elevator, off another day at the beach at the Selectum Resort. Okay, buffet first, that's important, <laughs> and then to the beach. Right, Madeline? <laughs> so, here's some good information for the buffet hours breakfast is from 7 till 10 a.m., lunch is from 1 till 3 p.m., and dinner is at 6 30 to 10 p.m. And of course, there's the snack bar throughout the day and night. I even skipped buffet one day just to have a light snack. It's so close to the pool, the patio is probably only about 30, 40 feet away from the pool. And like any resort that's all you can eat, the early bird gets the worm. And like I said before, you will not go hungry here. As a matter of fact, I gained three pounds in Cuba. So a viewer asked, we love seafood. Is there any seafood over there? Well, we had fish many times throughout the week since we really love fish. But we also had some calamari, small clams, shrimps, but try to come early before they're gone. But we didn't see any lobster. Thoughts and advice. Here's another trick you guys when you're at the uh, buffet table, uh, if there's two or three of you, uh, divide and conquer. One of you guys line up for the omelets, the other ones, the other ones get the uh, bread and the other ones get the drinks or coffee. So you don't waste your time, you get the, uh, get the day out of the way and you're all set, get your stuff ready and go to the pool or the beach. Divide and conquer. Okay, another tip, bring your own ketchup and Nutella. <laughs> okay, here's another tip for you guys. Bring your own pen and paper if you want to be able to communicate with your uh, maid or any type of service for a room because uh, they don't seem to have any uh, pen or paper here available for us in our room. So I was lucky I brought my pen and paper. And one more thing. We woke up in the morning and Nancy said the room was quite hot. So I thought something was wrong with the air conditioner and I talked to the maid about it. So she explained that our balcony glass door has to be 100% locked, closed. So if it's not closed 100%, it will not make a switch. Therefore, the air conditioner will not go on. Just a safety feature to conserve energy, which I totally understand. Here's another tip guys, hang your towels right away to keep them dry because you never know when you don't have enough white towels or uh, bathroom towels and you got to use your uh, beach towels or your pool towels so hang your pool towel right away so that sun, that super hot sun there dries it up very quickly. Okay. I'll show you guys where you have your towel exchange. Like same thing over here also. You can see some people earlier in the morning there they got their towels on their chairs. Okay, way before even breakfast comes, people want to save their seats. It does get a little bit busy and uh, some, although they've got like tons and tons of chairs over there, if you want the shaded area, there's a few over there. So you have to kind of like 
get seats for that. Like I said before, this is our uh, swim up bar. And behind them, they've got, uh, they've also got uh, shaded area and chairs. And right over here, right behind the swim up bar is where you have your towels. You can exchange your blue towels one for one in your bed, uh, in your room. You'll have towels there and they'll tell you this is where you exchange your towels when it's wet or sandy or whatever. Get a new fresh one right here at the Towel Club Sport Club. Also, again, now uh, when we're our tour guide did mention <clears throat> watch out for people that come in that, that come to talk to you because usually they would ask for money, right? So we've been here twice already in, in uh, Havana, so we kind of knew. Our daughter, who was just uh, was still 18 and new, first time in the uh, in the Havana area, she's already been in Cuba one time, but uh, this this old gentleman come ask him if he want to take his picture and of course my daughter says yes sure and of course the other <laughs> after that the guy asked for some money so they said okay just give him give him a, give him a dollar or two and uh, she did give him something it just surprised her it's like she didn't know what he was really want she didn't know what he wanted but you know when you when you when you go like this that means uh, they want some money for it so uh, be prepared you just be if people do uh, they'll come to you and do what I do I just smile and I just uh, shake my head uh, be respectful of the people over here because I know they do work hard also understand that the, the average person over here actually only makes uh, $30 American a month and that's not a lot right so uh, some people will be asking for money just be uh, nice about it and uh, if they, they uh, come to you just uh, smile and uh, shake your head simple and respectful if you want good seats good beach seats good uh, chairs and in, uh, in the morning at the beach time just come here a little bit early some people will leave their towel and leave I don't know if I really agree with that you know what I mean if you're leaving you should just leave take the towel with you uh, you're, you're basically hogging the uh, chair that you're gonna leave for a couple hours so somebody else could enjoy that time at the beach Hola amigo, como esta? <laughs> okay guys, if you have any uh, questions about this uh, new resort, uh, select them. Just comment below and uh, I'll try to answer as many questions as you guys have. Okay, we have a 6.30 appointment with the uh, special dinner at, uh, what's that dinner? Know what it is. Yeah, we're looking for the special dinner with our Chinese restaurant today. I think this is the entrance of the here. Formal dinner of the night, Chinese restaurant. Hmm. So what's this? This is this is the um oh, it's empty. Okay, I'm trying Madeline's uh, sushi. Pretty good. Okay, this is our. What is it? Seafood soup. Seafood soup. 
Guess we'll have the same soup. Seafood soup. Okay, let's try the seafood soup. Okay, there's a lot of um dips. Chinese people like it, so I'm assuming it's good. Well, actually, it's very good. Mm, that extra. Mm. It's good soup. Let's taste the fish. Fish is good, a little bit on the salty side. Two with the um, the rice here. Mm. Mm. Rice is very good, but the veggies. It's actually not bad. Mm. Excellent. So this is the fish dinner. Everything's good, but the uh, fish is a little bit on the salty side. Other than that, it's Cuba, baby. <laughs> good. Madeline couldn't finish her chicken, so I'm gonna try the chicken for chicken dinner. Chicken is really good. I recommend the chicken. Ice cream with chocolates. What's on top of that? The mocha, mocha cake. Mmm. There it is, chocolate mocha cake. Perfect combination, actually. The ice cream is good. Yeah, the ice cream with the uh, mocha cake. Oh, very good. Perfect combination. Mm. Okay, all in all, that was uh, actually a good dinner. That was one of our first a la carte uh, Chinese dinner tonight. What do you think, Nancy and uh, Madeline? Good. Good. Good for Madeline. What about you, Nancy? What do you think about the a la carte? Nancy said it was okay. okay. I thought it was good. Balcony here, beautiful. Okay, I'm at the balcony of the uh, Sky Blue restaurant. That's on the seventh floor, actually. Take a look here. See there, that's actually the water over there, the ocean. And check out the balcony here. Beautiful balcony here at uh, Sky Blue restaurant. This is the International a la carte. Pumpkin soup for everybody. Mm. Pumpkin soup is really good.
Okay, um, the fish is a little bit on the salty side, so, and I like salt, so it is a little bit on the salty side. Other than that, uh, the dinner is good. Uh, Nancy says the fish is a little bit too salty for her. We're in Cuba, baby. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Okay, last night in Cuba, we're going to our last um, a la carte, and this is the Italian. This is the Italian uh, restaurant for our last a la carte for the evening. On our way. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Calamari is our first entree. Everybody has calamari. Mm, what do you think, madam? Good? Calamari it is. That's good calamari. I'm impressed with that calamari today. Good. Move it so it's on. Okay, right there. <laughs> Minestrone soup. Minestrone soup. Mm. Oh, it's good. I like it. That's good. Oh my god. Yeah. Spaghetti. <laughs> and oh, yours is spaghetti with the uh, thing too. Okay. Let's see what's your other. Okay, that was that. Mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. I like the Chinese guy. Don't eat that. That's not. It's the expensive one. <laughs> wow. yeah, That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to try the uh, carbonara pasta. Mm. Also very good. Mm. I like it. Okay, out of all the a la carte we went to this week, I have to say the Italian a la carte is the best. Definitely highly recommend it. Look at my plate. <laughs> Anyways, that was the best. Thank you. Okay, everybody's got the uh, special, special dessert, which is uh, ice cream and um, a special cake. Tiramisu with the ice cream. Okay, this is actually attractive. Good dessert. Good dessert. Last year, napkin. Best dessert so far. Mm. Okay, that was the uh, best meal a la carte we had all week. That was at the Italian restaurant. So you guys, um, if you uh, have the a la carte, I suggest the Italian restaurant. So if you guys like my video and found it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
comment and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video. And if you really, really like my video, consider buying me a coffee by pressing the thanks button.